distant horizons with shaders is beautiful. But living in this world where you can see far distances seems a little lonely. So today I'm gonna show you three different ways you can install distant horizons in a server and make it work just fine without any issues so you can play with your friends. I know you don't have any friends to play with so just join my discord and I'm sure you will find someone. Also I'm thinking of starting an SMV for people who might be interested in Distant Horizon so make sure to check that out. But before we begin this video please watch this video till the end because I'm sure you will find new information and no skipping or you will get errors. First thing first I'm not gonna show you how to install Distant Horizons. You can check out my channel for tutorials. Secondly, if you're going to play with your friends, just send them my tutorial videos and Distant Horizon installation. And make sure you both have same mods in mods folder. Now let's work our way up from good to best methods to install Distant Horizons in a server. Number 3. For this you don't have to do anything, just go to your Minecraft and create a new world. And type flash chunky commands and wait till it's finished loading. After the progress is done, just save and quit your world and now open your Minecraft folder. Here go to your saves folder and locate the world you just created. Now open your browser and select your server hosting website. I am using Aternos because it's free and popular. So just create an account in Aternos and then create a server. Make sure fabric is installed in your server. And in the main menu, you will see files option on your like left hand side. Just go inside and if you see this world folder, just delete it and create a new folder called world. After that, go inside that folder you just created and open your Minecraft folder window. Drag and drop everything inside to a Turnos world folder and give it some time to upload. After that is finished uploading, just start your server and join it. After joining, make sure that you are getting Distant Horizons LOD to load. Just walk around a little bit to load some chunks manually and go back some distance and see if it's loading as LOD. And here you will notice that chunks you loaded in single player world aren't working. But we are gonna fix that in a minute. Those chunks we loaded needs to be installed in our local Minecraft folder, but they aren't so we will need to copy paste them in correct folder. Now just close your Minecraft and go back to Minecraft folder. Here check if you have a folder called Distant Horizon Server Data. If not, just create folders with same name and in order they are being opened. Now, once inside this overworld folder, if you see these files named as Distant Horizon, simply delete them and make your way back to your single player world files we just created ages ago. Now go to data folder, here you can see these same three files, copy them and you guessed it right. Paste them in that overworld folder that we found inside distant horizon server data folder. This took me three days to figure out and Aternos takes one hour just to load the queue and I had to do so many retries so please subscribe and check out my Patreon. I will help you personally if you get my premium that is only $3 per month. Now if you have pasted those files in your distant horizon server data folder, this will start working. So launch your Minecraft, join your server and enjoy. By the way, one more thing, if other players have created a house or made some changes in world for it to show in distant horizons, you will need to visit all those chunks by yourself and like reload them. So you just need to re-register those changes in your Distant Horizons files by visit visiting them manually. Get this video 500 likes and I will show you how to install huge walls in Aternos like I did in this background footage. Number 2. This is easy so whatever server you're using I'm gonna use Aternos since it's the most popular free hosting site. So just create an Aternos server and make sure it's fabric after that select your micro version and if you did it correctly you will see an option called mods so just open that and search for chunky and install that after installing you can start your server 
And once your server is up and ready, you can do two things. First, for chunky commands to show up, you will need to be an operator or mod. Just go to player options and look for your Minecraft username. And turn on operator option. Or you can type slash op and your username in console menu. After this, you will see that you can type slash chunky commands in your Minecraft server. Or the easiest way you can do this is just go to console and type slash chunky commands directly from there. But make sure to put right coordinates of where you want your chunks to start generating from. And also make sure your server is running and log into the server so it won't turn off while chunk is doing its thing. Number 1 this is for the people who don't want to use Eternos. Install Essential Mod. This mod provides you a system like Bedrock where you can add friend and let them join your single player world. This is so simple, you just need to type flash chunky commands in your world and let it finish and then your and then add your friends and invite them into your world. Let me know if I miss any other ways. By the way, also if you want your friends to see the same Distant Horizon LOD, send them those three files I talked about in method number 3. Just go to your world saves folder, select your world that you loaded your chunks in and then go to data and copy those three Distant Horizon files and then send them to your friends via Google Drive or some cloud storage and help them put it in right place or folder. Like distant horizon, server data, then Minecraft, plus server, then overworld in that folder. Okay.